So we started the year of 2018 with this video here, which I called Krautism, emphasis on the autism part of that. Not many people liked it. Many complained that I abused the word autist, even though that was the very first and only time I had made a video indicating how autistic someone was. Once is too many, apparently. Duly noted, I had considered doing a full and complete circle and ending the year with autism, but instead we are going to end it by addressing something that was recommended to me. Now this is actually not a new thing, but I want to tell you a story, and in doing so, make as many jokes as I can possibly make about this particular subject. Now this is Mao Sugiyama. Mao Sugiyama is an artist from Tokyo that got a considerable amount of attention for doing something that, well, it certainly, it certainly stood out. You see, in 2012, Mao Sugiyama partook in a surgery, an elective surgery. The surgery is called genital removal surgery, or gender nullification, which I don't think is entirely accurate, as gender is a social construct, and genital removal is a removal of genitalia for that biological sex, which doesn't in fact change your biological sex at all. It just makes it impossible for you to procreate, which is in and of itself quite amusing, and the very fact that at the age of, what, 22, Mao Sugiyama decided to go from looking like this, with fully functioning genitals, to, and I don't want to spoil this for everyone, but I have a post-op picture, of this. I know what some of you are thinking, oh my god, this is about to get flagged. I know, I know. Just try not to focus too much at this. Less on that, the face that is. In fact, just focus on the face, and not that genitalless region. This was back in 2012, as I may have already stated, and feel the need to state again because I'm getting old and I forget these things. The reason given for this elective genital removal surgery was that Mao Sugiyama is asexual. Now, I don't know if I'm the only person that has to wonder this, but what does removing your genitals have to do with being asexual? Just because you don't have any use for them doesn't mean they are taking up space you may not otherwise need, unless you're about to tell me this rockin' body without genitals can now fit into those skinny, tight women's jeans that your skinny little legs could not previously fit into with external genitalia. You know what you could have done instead? You see, there is another way around this. You could still be asexual and keep your genitals. It's called a mangina. Or you could have just worn assless chaps and a tube sock. A really small tube sock. Now, two months after this elective genital removal surgery, Mao Sugiyama held a banquet. A banquet in celebration of what he had achieved. Is he still a he at this point? Yes, he is still a he. Unless he identifies as something else. But this article does not indicate that. This banquet was complete with musical entertainment, a panel discussing various things, and lastly, a main course that was served with a mushroom garnish. How very appropriate. And one must wonder, considering what was on the menu, whether people may have gotten confused as to what they were putting in their mouth. Now this is what they were served. It's quite small, don't you think? I mean, if you're going to try and get a bunch of people, very wealthy people, no doubt, who are going to pay $250 a pop to come eat this one-of-a-kind meal, it sounds like a bit of a hard sell to me. And what with there being limited stock, you'd surely want to make as much money as possible on this. I mean, it is barely a mouthful, which doesn't break the stereotype at all. I just, I personally believe that with this kind of meal, which I have yet to tell you what it is, and since it is, as mentioned earlier, limited stock, it would be hard to penetrate the market to turn this into something mainstream, although I can think of a few groups of people who would gladly crowdfund this. For those who don't know what Mao Sugiyama did, Mao Sugiyama served his genitals. He, the artist, cooked and prepared this meal, this delicious meal, which I'm no longer going to present on the screen because I think, yeah, I'll probably get a community guideline strike for putting someone's cooked genitals on the screen. Now, Sugiyama had considered eating the genitals himself, but somehow 
decided to make what he called an artistic statement instead. Replace the R with the U and you'd be quite right. Brings a whole new meaning to eating oneself, I guess. Now, all in all, one of the things that makes me chuckle the most is that this is one grand statement of asexuality that ended in becoming a eunuch. And based on how Sugiyama went about getting attention for this, raising awareness of asexuality and other such things that this artistic man wanted to raise, I felt like he was milking it a bit. But one cannot argue that with the limited stock available, there wasn't exactly much in the way of stiff competition. And I will say now, I do think he really missed a trick. Because the penis was uncircumcised, he could have served this as a pig in blanket, a really small pig in blanket, to one person. Mao Sugiyama, at this banquet, called it Ham Sibel, which is Century Banquet. Sibel refers to the Anatolian mother goddess who embodies the bounty of the earth, and unlike the American word, ham, in Japan refers more generally to processed meat. Ham Sibel is also Sugiyama's artist nickname. Meanwhile, century in Japanese homophone is for the word genitals. Lol. Now, unsurprisingly with all of this, there were complaints about the texture, which had me wondering if some of the customers got the shaft instead of the tip, but then I have no doubt someone did in fact complain that they were shafted. With the fact that there was not a chef to cook the food, it's unsurprising that an artist wasn't a junk master chef. With this unsurprisingly underwhelming meal, banquet even, even though the meal looks like it's about the size of a Happy Meal at best. Okay, a micro-happy meal for a midget. There were consequences. I'm sure for many it was a case they had to pass it the next day, turning a dick to shit. Lol. But for Mao Sugiyama, the consequence was indecent exposure, which seemed a bit weird to me, because last I checked upon looking at his nudes, on screen now of course, I don't see where the offending material is. And based on how some places in Japan treat cocks, Yes, I've seen the pictures of girls riding gigantic dicks that are made of wood. It's disturbing. It had me wonder, what did he expose? Well, it turns out it was the fact that he was holding his genitals when he was preparing them. I wonder if he felt any kind of psychic or telepathic shock in the region where his genitals once were, when he started to abuse them in a way that even those into very dark BDSM corners would never do. I bet he crossed his legs when he cut the tip off. The consequences of this indecent exposure charge were to the tune of about 37,000. Real currency, not Japanese. Which is quite the consequence when you consider that if you don't take into account the setup costs for the entire event, he made 17,500. That's what he made. And he's had to pay more than twice that because he whipped his dick out, cut it up, along with his testicles and other parts, and served it as a gourmet meal. Really has you think just how fucked some people in the head are. Now I did bother to see what Mao Sugiyama had been up to since then, but Mao Sugiyama's kind of fallen off the map a little, is not really active on Twitter, so I couldn't possibly tell you what this genitalless eunuch does. I was somewhat curious as to what happens to someone when they remove their genitals. I mean, do they just sit down now? Which is really the only thing that happens. So naturally, I was googling about to try and find out what happened after, and I was looking here, there, and everywhere, and the only thing that cropped up was this. Florida man bites his brother's penis off after he walks in on his brother having sex with his cousin on his favourite Dragon Ball Z blanket. Takes Super Saiyan to a whole new level, doesn't it? I just... I can't even tell if this is real or not. It's Florida, and they have the world's stupidest criminals. Look at that hair, though. What's with the two... Oh, you know what? I assume they're just there to conduct electricity. Doesn't matter. I hope you swallowed it. Anyway, as this is the end of the year, I thought I would wish everyone a happy new year. I hope you all get absolutely shrecked. And I will see you all tomorrow on January the 1st. So I hope you all have a lovely Monday, the 31st of December. And thank you all for listening.